The latest findings prove the existence of an invisible planet in our solar system. Far out, this new planet is completing a circle around the sun that will last several thousand years. It will soon be approaching Earth again, and then, for the first time, we may be able to see Planet Nine with our own eyes. If this is the case, we can expect huge upheavals. What exactly is Planet Nine? Is it a pure mystery, or is it real? Dr. Mike Brown is sure it's real, and it could be bigger than we thought. Initial studies came up with a planet a little bigger than Pluto, but the latest findings now show that the planet could be 10 times bigger than Earth. That would be a real surprise. A planet that big, far out, would be a scientific sensation. It is very likely that this planet would follow such an elliptical orbit that it would fly thousands of years beyond the Kuiper Belt and then return to the interior of the solar system for a few thousand years. If we are to believe Mike Brown, then the planet is approaching the interior again at this very moment, and dozens of telescopes are pointed at the empty spaces where the ninth planet is suspected to be. Whoever discovers it first will go down in the history of astronomy. That much is clear. Of course, Mike Brown wants to be the first official discoverer, as he has dedicated almost 20 years of his career to the search for the last major planet in the solar system. Planet Nine. How did scientists actually come up with it? When you think of Planet Nine, you probably think of terms like Planet 10, Planet X, or even the mystical planet Nibiru. That's no wonder, because these terms are all somehow connected. Planet Nine used to be called Planet 10 when Pluto was still the ninth official planet in the solar system. After Pluto was demoted to a dwarf planet, Planet 10 became Planet Nine. Nibiru is actually the invention of a science fiction author who supposedly got his ideas of a cruel planet that would bring destruction to Earth from ancient Sumerian writings. However, the authenticity of these statements is strongly doubted in branches of serious science. So let's stick to the strictly scientific findings. Planet Nine became visible in a way because some objects within the Kuiper Belt behave so strangely that scientists believe another large planet could be responsible for these anomalies. In fact, these objects, also known as trans-Neptunian objects, or TNOs, or also Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, show such a striking clustering of their orbits that it's very likely that a heavy object is causing this agglomeration. Several calculations showed the coherence of this assumption, and Mike Brown is the researcher who has continued to present new calculations and evidence for around 20 years. There have been many counter studies that have tried to invalidate the Planet Nine theory, but Brown proved the opposite time and again and showed that the anomalies of the TNOs can only really be coherently explained by another planet. In astronomical history, effects such as orbital anomalies have been used several times to predict the existence of planets even before they appeared in the field of vision of astronomers. The exciting search for Pluto. Can you imagine a 19th century obsessive scientist dedicating his life to the search for a planet just like Mike Brown does today? Percival Lowell was convinced that there was another planet in the solar system, which he called Planet Nine at the time. Orbital anomalies of Uranus and Neptune led the astronomer to assume that Neptune was by no means the end of the story, and he was proved right. Unfortunately, Lowell did not live to see the discovery of Pluto in person. However, the wealthy scientist and entrepreneur left the observatory named after him to the world, where the young researcher Clyde Tombo was later hired. He succeeded in discovering Pluto in 1930 by comparing several photographic plates. Pluto was our ninth planet until 2006. Then it was declared a dwarf planet and a KBO. The reason for this was the discovery of numerous other small planets in the Kuiper Belt. Mike Brown, of all people, who is searching for a Planet Nine again today, was the trigger for this demotion. The reason was quite simply that Brown, a passionate Kuiper Belt researcher, has also discovered most of the KBOs. Among experts, the researcher is also jokingly referred to as the Pluto Killer, although this was not actually Brown's intention. The decision to remove Pluto from the ranks of the major planets was not his, but that of a team of astronomers representing the entire global astronomical community. In 2006, this assembly discussed what is a real planet and what is not. What characterizes a real planet? 
Are you one of those people who still don't really understand why Pluto is no longer a planet and what actually separates dwarf planets from real planets? You're like the astronomers, because for a long time they didn't know either. Despite some criticism, the Commission of the International Astronomical Union agreed that a planet must have an approximately round shape, orbit the Sun independently, or in other words, on its own orbit, and that this orbit must be cleared. Pluto failed on this last point. It is almost round and orbits the Sun in its own orbit, but this orbit is not completely clear. It shares its orbit with other KBOs, and this is the only reason why it is no longer officially one of the main planets. Many astronomers and space fans found this decision ridiculous. Thousands of students and ordinary citizens around the world have written letters of protest that Pluto should no longer be a planet. Despite these protests, the international astronomical community still stands by its decision. Some astronomers, however, ignore this, and for them, Pluto is just another planet. Optimists even see a loosening of this classification because it's actually scientifically untenable. Of course, Pluto is a planet, just like some other KBOs, such as Sedna, which is also almost round, or Ceres, another almost round dwarf planet in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. All in all, we currently have around 13 known planets, if you include the large and round or almost round small planets. At the moment, the known planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Ceres, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Sedna, Haumea, and Maki Maki. So, that would be a few more to memorize at school. But that is also no argument for not recognizing these small planets or somehow excluding them from the ranks of the big or real planets. We had to memorize far more nonsensical things as school children, and anyone who is really interested in space will certainly be happy to remember all the names. So, maybe we'll see all these planet-like bodies officially become planets at some point, and perhaps another large planet will be added. It could even be the catalyst for this revolution. Because, what if it's big and round and doesn't have a clear orbit? Would a planet 10 times larger than Earth then officially only be a TNO or a KBO or an unclassifiable object? At the moment, Planet 9 is still a mystery. We don't know exactly what Planet 9 looks like, but here's a creative look into the future. This is what Planet 9 probably looks like. Let's imagine a fictional future in which Planet 9 has been found and we finally know what this fantastic planet looks like. Planet 9 turned out to be an interesting mix of a massive rocky planet and a bizarre ice world. A core of iron and strangely heavy rock gives this planet a special position among all the others. It is strongly metallic and mineral at the same time, icy cold and covered with snowy landscapes and methane ice. Scientists have also discovered possible water deposits in the frozen depths of this planet, and NASA, together with other space organizations on Earth, is considering sending a drilling probe to the planet. An international commission has decided to officially name Planet 9 Nox. This ancient deity of darkness became the namesake because Planet 9 orbits in almost complete darkness. This preference for the dark regions of our solar system also makes it difficult to study. However, thanks to the new Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, not only has Planet 9 been discovered, but its exploration has also made enormous progress. In this fictional future, Planet 9 could really turn out to be 10 times bigger than the Earth. Mike Brown became a celebrated astronomer and, like his colleague Clyde Tombaugh, went down in history. Planet 9 will have raised a number of questions. How could such a large and heavy rocky planet orbit so far out in the solar system? Some scientists may have come up with the idea that Planet 9 was once born closer to the Sun and was pushed outwards by massive gravitational upheavals in the solar system. Other scientists, meanwhile, might postulate that Nox is actually a planet that migrated from another solar system and was once attracted to our Sun during a star encounter many millions of years ago. This has also been suggested for Neptune, as it's so different from all other planets due to its remarkable properties. It's possible that the fictitious Nox and Neptune could originate from the same solar system. 
This would raise further questions about planetary migration and a multicultural society in the universe. Since several more KBOs may have been discovered by this point in the future, all of which are small planets, we could also come up with the idea that there are other planets beyond the boundaries of the Kuiper Belt and that our solar system is far larger and richer than we have previously assumed. Far out there is also the barely explored Oort Cloud, a broad band in which scientists of today only suspect asteroids, comets, and a few smaller rocks. But in the future, we could discover that planetoids are also hidden in the Oort Cloud. What would that mean for our science? We simply have to acknowledge here and now that we are far from knowing everything about our solar system or the universe. Even our own planet is always full of surprises. That's the exciting thing about research. New doors and dimensions are constantly opening, and what was true yesterday can be overturned today by further revolutionary discoveries. Subscribe to the channel now to see even more exciting videos about space.